Jan Foreman and welcome to Daily Hope. Today's reading in Proverbs chapter 6 continues our conversation about wisdom. Wisdom is applied knowledge. It's not just having information, but it's practical and it's personal. It's knowing what to do with God's good gifts. And it reminds me of the time a friend wanted to saw a piece of wood. And so he impulsively just grabbed the family piano and began to saw. And the saw slipped and he put a big gash in that brand new piano top. Wisdom is using God's gifts at the right time and the right way. It's taking the long look to make the best choice. Um, and our first verse reminds us of our first bad example from Proverbs chapter 6. It says, My son, if you've put up security for your neighbor, if you've shaken hands and pledged for a stranger, do this, my son, to free yourself, since you've fallen into your neighbor's hands. Go to the point of exhaustion and give your neighbor no rest. Our first bad example is a person who has a relationship, with, which is a good thing, but he's overcommitted financially. Um, he guarantees another person's financial future, even though he really has no control over that opportunity. A friend of mine was asked to sign for a loan for his friend's son's new motorcycle, and he wisely refused. And the next day, that young man totaled the motorcycle. So we have an expression in our culture, it's not my chair. Basically realizing I can only own my own life and God doesn't ask me to own another person's life and guarantee their future. Now the second warning or bad example in chapter six is about being lazy. Go to the ant you sluggard, continue its ways and be wise. My unwise self values convenience and comfort over doing the right thing in the moment. It can mean not watering plants and they die, to showing up at work on time. It's basically doing what feels good in the moment. But when I live that way, we're told it can lead to disaster. You know, in our culture, we are often told rest is so important. We need margins in our life. This passage isn't talking about the workaholic. This is addressing my lazy self when I don't even have the, the initiative to move. And it reads, a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a thief, and scarcity like an armed man. In the end, laziness robs me of all the good future God wants to give me. Our third warning is about being dishonest. There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, and feet that are quick to rush into evil, a false witness who pours out lies, and a person who stirs up conflict in the community. Being selfish um, and dishonest means I'm trying to get ahead by tearing somebody else down, and division is my M.O. But listen to James 3.17, the wisdom that comes from above is first of all pure, peace-loving, considerate submission, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Wisdom knows that when I build other people up, I am built up as well. But if I destroy somebody else, that boomerang is gonna come back and hit me in the head. Our fourth and final bad example is regarding unfaithfulness in marriage. And this proverb warns husbands against unfaithful women. But don't we know that husbands can be just as seductive as women can be? Marriage vows take that long look ahead toward a good future that God wants to give us, and that includes deep intimacy. But when we violate and don't drive in our lane, we cut a deep scar in our marriage, just like that friend who cut a deep gash in his piano. How we need this wisdom in our chaotic, world, our confused world right now. And thankfully, we have this promise in James 1, 5. If any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. God, give us this wisdom today. We so desperately need it. In Jesus' name, amen. And now I invite you to join us this weekend for our services and online. God bless you. Bye-bye.